There are not many varieties in the world, and we don't have a lot of early, mid-season, and late varieties. They harvest almost all of them uh, in a very short time uh, and together. In Israel, in June and July, they harvest the uh, apricot in the north. The average price for the farmer is three to four shekels. It's not very high. Last year, the first time they moved here and they sold the goods in the market, they got 20 shekels for one year. It's not big, but it's out of season and it's good. This was a good crop. And they ordered trees and they planted. One farmer in Moshav uh, in Yav and two farmers in Moshav Chatseva. Last summer, when the trees were one and a half years old, we had a very hot summer. And all the trees of one farmer in Chatseva and one farmer in Yav, all the trees died in the summertime. And the other farmer in Moshav Chatseva, he saw the trees started to look sick. He came quickly to the research station and they changed the irrigation program and most of the trees he saved, about 80%. Now he's, uh, he's just uh, replanted now, the ones that died. So one of the biggest problems we have, this experiment is in the middle as far as the research station is concerned. And we already have two farmers that if you go and ask them, they'll say apricot is no good. <laughs> apricot, it's too sensitive to the heat. But they didn't come, they didn't ask how to irrigate, they didn't ask how to fertilize. Okay, but already they know it's no good. Okay, so this is one of the problems we have with the research, that the farmers don't have patience always to wait for the proper results. Okay, so this we have to keep in mind. And uh, in the case of the next experiment that we'll go to with the grapes, we took advantage of this idea that the farmers don't have patience and when we introduce new varieties of grapes the people from the research station also go to all the farmers that have planted the new varieties and they check what works what doesn't we learn the quickest from the mistakes also here and also from the farmers with new varieties what to do and what not to do as far as hormone when to prune how to prepare the bunch and things like this Okay, so this idea in the grapes, we're using the farmer's uh, lack of patience to our advantage, to try and learn more quickly, okay? And when we, uh, in, in uh, the variety now that is the control that most of the farmers grow, it's called SBS or early sweet. When I worked here, it was a new variety. 
And, it, and usually it takes seven to eight years to develop a growing protocol for a new variety, how to grow it, how to prune it, when to prune it, how much hormone, all the different things that we have to know to get good quality results. In the case of the SBS or the early sweet, because we had a lot of farmers in our valley and in the Jordan Valley that planted at the same time, once a week for three years, I used to go and visit all the farmers and also the research stations in the Jordan Valley, and we, we collaborated with all the data. And when we saw a problem or a mistake, quickly we told everyone, don't do this, don't do that. And uh, we made less mistakes, and we had a, a complete growing protocol after only four years, which is considered very fast for a new variety. Okay, so this is the idea. Okay, let's go over to the next spot now. We'll go out. Ah, okay, question? Uh, you said you, you had a rootstock and a wild plant and wild plant. Yeah. Which one are you using? Uh, we, half of the trees are with the wild plum mm -hmm. and half are with the wild peach because sometimes the rootstock also affects the variety. And so we want to see if there will be a difference. Okay, so last year was the first time we picked. I haven't seen the results, so I don't know if there was a big difference or not. And this year, we have even a bigger yield we'll have. So maybe we'll have more results and we can start to see uh, if one is better than the other. Okay? Uh, more question? If not, let's go over between the next two hothouses. We'll go out here at the end of the row.